Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another unboxing video with your boy Gore the Movie God. Hello, how you doing? Let me know. Uh, and I have a little game for the Nintendo Switch called The House in Feta Morgana, The Dreams of the Revenants Edition. Or maybe it's just dream. Yeah, it's just dreams, no, no the. And uh, this is a game I've never played. I've always wanted to. I've heard it's great. And when I say played, you know, that's maybe a little far because i've heard it's mainly i don't even think there's like a lot of choices in this game there might be some but for the most part it is very much just a a game about the story and the, the writing uh which i'm excited about because i've heard great things about this like really great things to the point where i think this version of this game on metacritic for a little while had a perfect hundred meta score i mean like straight up a hundred was 99 for a little while it was that it was that high but i think it dropped uh since then i could be wrong man there was there was a few reviews it wasn't like there's only like a couple there was i think around eight or nine reviews and it was a hundred so yeah this is a universally acclaimed story at least so i'm very excited to uh play it and uh usually i don't open my limited run games but this one i had to um because i want to play it usually i buy limited run games for games i already own so i just keep the physical uh sealed because i already own them but uh yeah this one uh i don't own on anything i missed the ps vita one and I missed, uh, I think, the PS4 one, too. So I had to get on Switch. Switch makes sense for this. I mean, Vita makes sense, too. But Switch definitely makes sense for it. Um, so let's get to it, baby. I've heard nothing but great things. I do want to play it in the future. But I uh, figured I'd open this now. So let me know if you've played this game. Again, played. Um, maybe may, maybe there's more gameplay in this than, I'm, than I've heard. I'm trying to open this very gently. Yeah, there you go. I actually forgot exactly what's in this. So, honestly, I don't even think I really, I, I looked, but I don't think I, like, really examined it when I saw this was up for sale, because I was just like, screw it, I'm buying it anyway. And it wasn't too much more than the re the regular version. I think the regular version was, um, yeah, I'll show while I'm opening it. Um, I think the regular version was 50, and I think this version was 80. I could be wrong. Maybe it was a little bit more, but hey, I like a good outer box, and this outer box is nice. Some good artwork heard the game looks amazing when it comes to artwork and it came undamaged really which is surprising because so many games nowadays from limited run the box comes damaged my samurai jack one came damaged and uh yeah anyway so here's what it looks like without the well there's still some reflective but not as much there you go the artwork's really nice on there uh and here is the back right there there you go that is the back i already showed you the sides i don't need to show those again so let's open it gently if i can i always hate opening these type of boxes because you kind of have to like all right well this one's like tight in there okay all right might want to pause this oh wait no i think i got it oh there you go oh i got it there you go look at that perfect open maybe a little bent but not too bad um there you go let's see what we got nothing's dropping from the bottom nope okay so there's everything in there so right there boom it's a nice little uh cardboard thing um all right so how do you get the stuff out okay like this all right so let's see what this is first is this like an art book or something i don't really want to look into it but i'll show i'll show you guys so get ready for maybe spoilers yeah it is the art it's the art of have some fada fada morgana <laughs> fada morgana um here i'll show you guys i'll show you a little bit all right spoilers incoming maybe so you never know what is that is that a new lady what are you doing put that clothes back on jesus it's chilly there you go and wow this is like actually really hard to open <laughs> this art book i don't want to really open it too much oh i know this guy because this guy is actually the guy that came on the trading card that i got from limited run so uh, I'll show you some more art. Here you go. I don't think these are spoilers. Honestly, I don't think anything here is really a spoiler. I don't want to open it too much, but uh, there you go. You can kind of see. So cool. So that's a nice little art book. I like art books that are not just like one of those, um, I guess, sideways ones. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it's like a really crappy, like hardcover sideways one. What would you call those? The sideways books that are like sideways like this. And then they open from this way out. And it's like a hardcover. I hate those ones. So I'm glad it's not that. Um, is this a poster? All right. Here. Just showing you again. This is a poster. Oh, and there's the game and the soundtrack too. That's right. I forgot there's a soundtrack. Um, oh, I just bent it. Great. But whatever. Um, there it is. Let's see. Can I show the full... Is this going to be the box art we already saw? 
Or is this going to be something else? Oh, it looks like it has two sides. Ooh, naughty. What are you two doing? Huh? There you go. Actually, it looks pretty good on the camera. Uh, and the other side is a different selection of people. I really like the artwork. Very nice. Very nice. So there you go. That's the poster. I don't know who these people are yet. I'm sure once I play it, I'll be like, oh my god. I'm so glad I have this poster. I'm going to I'm gonna laminate it or whatever. I don't know why I'd laminate it. But um, I mean, it's kind of a... I, I will say the quality of poster is not like amazing. I hate these. I hate... I hate folded up posters too. Like I, I like the idea or the thought, I guess, around a poster being included in a game like this. But when it's folded up, I immediately I don't, know, I don't want to post. I don't want to put it up on my wall. Uh, here is the stop. The soundtrack. I will keep this sealed. So if you want to see what this looks like, you might have to watch somewhere else. Um, I'm gonna keep it sealed because I'm not gonna listen to this yet, and I might as well keep it. Wow, it has a lot of music. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Look how many songs are on there. Look, can you even read that? Yeah, you can kind of read it. Look at that. There's six discs in this baby. And there's, how many? 25 on this disc. Let me see. I'm going to do quick math. 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1, that's 3. Quick maths. And let's see. Uh, 21, 44. Uh, 58. 68. Uh, 84. 99 songs on this jesus christ how long are each song fucking two seconds so, all right let me i just want to make sure 25 35 uh 40 uh, 54 70 yeah so there's 99 songs on this jesus um so there you go uh oh well actually shouldn't really read these just in case they're spoilers a lot of soundtracks spoil you know what, fucking let's open it jesus what am i doing i'm not gonna sell this i'm gonna get fuck i know i'm gonna love it too i know i'm gonna love it i'm gonna open it i don't care I'm sure this will be like this most rare fucking collector's edition ever or something. But uh, I already cut into it. So I'm opening it. I'm opening it. Whatever. I kind of want to see what it looks like inside anyway. Um, there you go. Opened. Opened. Alright. So this is what it looks like. This lady's dead. I don't know what happened to her. Is she dead or is she just sleep? No, she dead as hell. Um, and here's the, here's the back again without the plastic so it's easier to read. And here's the, uh, it's going to be one of those flip ones. So here's this two and three. Let's see if I can get, how do you open this? It's like this, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Here's disc one and the little insert. All right. So that's cool. Now to see disc four and five and then six, I'm assuming. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disc four and five. I love getting a good uh, multi-disc soundtrack. I don't know why, it just feels good. Uh, and here is the last disc, which is disc six. Let me flip it around so you can kind of see it better. Come on. All right, let me just take it out. Screw it. I'm going to check the disc. You never know. <laughs> I don't know why. I'll ch ch check this one disc. And here is the disc six disc six artwork and then the other insert come on go that way go that way come on move move your ass there you go anyway actually i'm glad i opened that because those are nice discs uh and the last thing of course is the well unless no there's more never mind whoa what are these what's going on here is these like postcards I, i'm glad i don't remember anything about what's in here because it's like a surprise inside now after five months of waiting all right well this girl needs to put a bra on because she's spilling out of that uh let's see see be more like this modest lady she really likes her white um and you got this guy and this gal it's a bunch of guys and gals oh never mind here you go <laughs> double gal she's spilling out too this girl's got a bone hand <laughs> I hope some of this isn't spoilers for me. Alright. There you go. Okay, can I... Come on. Just realized it wasn't really focusing. You can see it, though. And, uh, well, this girl. It was like a... What is it, like a sex game? Anyway. 
what is this, like a sex game? I'm sure after I find out who these characters are, I'm going to regret saying that. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Usually, that is the case whenever I say things that are stupid. So, that is it for the collector's edition, but we still have to open the game. Because I'm going to play the game, I might as well open it. So, here, let me put the collector's edition stuff away. Um, this is the same version you can get either way. So, here's the uh, dead lady again. This is the version you can get. Well, I guess you can't get it anymore, but if... If you didn't get the collector's edition, this is, I'm assuming, the same one. You awaken in a decrepit old mansion. Uh, a woman with eyes of, of jade stands before you, informing you that you are the master of the house, and she, your maid. However, you have no memories, no concept of self, or indeed any certainty that you are even alive. A full length. I'm just trying to process that. Like, like, am I even alive? I, you know, to be fair, I think that every day, pretty much. Like, am I even alive? Is this like a Matrix? Um, a full-length visual novel. A story that deals in tragedy, human nature, and insanity. Uh, yeah, but where's the funny? Uh, a gothic suspense tale set in a cursed mansion. Alright, well, there you go. Those are the selling points. <laughs> there you go, come on. My webcam is not great when it comes to focusing. There you go. Um, and here's the side, just in case you give a shit. But yeah, I don't know why you would, because I hate these sides. I really do. So let's open it. That's the sound of cutting into plastic. This is a nice thick plastic too, which I feel really uh, bad about taking off. I think I think I want to say like Grandia from Limited Run had the same like really thick plastic, but this is really. Can you tell? Can you tell this is thick plastic. Does it sound different? Here, put your headphones on. It's a ASMR. I almost muted the mic there. I'm sick. That would have been unfortunate. Anyway, so bam. There is the game, and, uh, well, let me look, just in case. Ooh, you got a bunch of people, and you got a little manual. Look at that. So you get some presentation. It's almost like Limited Run is all about that. So here's the people in the background. We already met some of them. Well, not met, but we've seen them in the postcards. Um, so that's cool. Here's the cartridge, which, of course, you got to give it a lick. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking disgusting still. Four years later. Who would have thought? But, uh. Here's the card. It's just the box art, so if you can't really see it, it's the same thing. Yeah, there's no way. Actually, don't I usually just like put it really close to the camera and then it focuses? Usually what I do. Not good lighting. Yeah, sorry. It's just the box art. It's the dead lady. And here's a little manual. Cool. So here's the lady. She's dead or something. And then here's the other side, which I think is the same lady. And she's alive. So I'm glad. Good for you. Uh, and here's just a little, like, manual to tell you about the characters. So it's almost kind of like a, a mini art book in itself, if you really think about it. Here's the uh, background. Look at that. That's cool. I love these mini manuals. There's actually somebody, I can't remember their name, but they actually make mini manuals for, like, PS Vita and Switch games that don't have them already. Which I thought was so, such a great idea. I almost bought like a bunch of Vita ones. Like they had someone made a Persona 4 Golden. Oh, what was the other games? Uh, I think Gravity Rush and oh, what was the other one I was thinking of getting? Shit, shit, I forgot. But it was actually really cool. So anyway, there you go. That is the collector's edition of House in Feta Morgana. I'm sure someone's gonna tell me I'm mispronouncing. It. I've been mispronouncing it in the entire fucking episode or something episode like this is a series um but there you go there's the box nice little box hey i like a good outer box and this is a nice good outer box but uh, oh god anyway there you go that is that i hope you enjoyed the unboxing thank you i'll, t I'll see you guys later goodbye Mwah.